Hello, my name is Bob Evans, and I'm going to talk quickly about masonry retaining walls. This is what a masonry retaining wall looks like. So this is the masonry wall, and then this is the fill, and we would have a drainage pipe below to reduce any hydrostatic pressure. The design is based on the pure mass of the masonry. It's really important to understand the weight of the, the bricks or the blocks to make sure that the wall is designed correctly. Let me just show you some examples. So these are some nice examples of garden retaining walls. When you think about how the Victorians built the railways with all the large embankments, they were all masonry retaining walls and they're still there today. This is a design table for masonry um, walls. So you can see the heights of the wall have actually allowed for a class A engineering brick which is quite dense and heavy. This is the step width. So what I mean by step width is that's the width of the step. So that the step width for the smaller walls is 112 millimeters. And then the step width here is 215 millimeters. So you can see the steps going down. So each step, the width of each step is 215 millimeters. Then we've got the base width, the base depth, um, steel in the, in the base, and the surcharge that we've allowed for is 10 kilonewtons, just to give some um, design characteristics. So because now we've got this design table, it allows us to actually price the walls to give you an idea of price, which I'll show you in a minute. This page shows the design criteria for the design table. So we allowed for a ground burning pressure of 200 kilopascals and a surcharge load of 10 kilonewtons. But please go to the retaining wall design page and watch the video to learn all about the design process. It's really important. Because we've got the designs, we can then put together some budget costs. So here you can see the various heights of the wall and then labor plant material, total supply only. So the way this works is if we've got a wall 1.8 meters high and it's 100 linear meters long, that's 180 square meters at 316 pounds a square meter, so 1.8. 316 pounds a square meter gives a budget of 56,880 and then you can see the a budget for supply only which is basically the bricks and then a budget for labor plant and material it's an approximate price only every wall has to be designed separately so thank you for listening if you've got any questions please complete the form below or if you want some pricing please complete that form below. Until then, thanks for listening. Bye.